Hey people, so we've got the Lenovo ThinkPad T14 Gen 2. This is an Intel version, so 11th gen um, processor with the AXC graphics. Just here to do an unboxing. If we have time, we'll probably do a separate review, but um, that's something else. So you can see it's a sealed, same old ThinkPad box. So all we have to do is really just unseal the top, as you can see, the bright seal. There. They've improved the packaging for the T14 Gen 1, so this is a Gen 2. I think the boxing side of it is pretty much the same as the last generation. So on the inside you will see that the laptop is being protected by um, quite helpful foam. I think this is much better than the one that we had um, on the T490. So this is reasonably strong. So what we'll do is... Okay, right, on the inside we have the laptop, uh, documentation, and um, presumably the charger. So, laptop, it um, comes in a plastic bag. So, as you can see, it's still sealed, so let's um, quickly unseal it. Okay, so here we have the laptop. This looks really familiar. <laughs> On the inside, you'll notice that it's basically indistinguishable visually um, from the G1, except for the logo. And um, let's see, on the base cover, I think the base is a little bit different. I mean, if we just put it on this so it doesn't get scratched. We've got the Gen 1 here, and we've got the Gen 2 here. I think one of the noticeable areas is that you can see that the air intake is a little bit better than before. I suspect what happened is maybe some people realize that actually Intel processors are running hotter than before, just like they're using a similar design for the AMD, so it probably makes sense to um, get more opening of the vents. But otherwise, the material of the laptop is very similar. Things are sticking up. As you can see, it's not quite uh, a bit sticking out. <laughs> Um, I think it's just the way they manufactured it. On the left-hand side of the new model, you have the Thunderbolt 4 ports, two of them. So this is um, quite nice. The HDMI has been upgraded to HDMI 2, I think. Um, it's quite nice. On the other side, you can see the vent is roughly the same size as before. It still exhausts directly onto your hands. Um, nothing you can really do about it. On the back of the laptop, you can see the SIMS tray. I think if you selected it with... Okay, let's uh, try to switch it on. The first time you switch on the ThinkPad, it's, uh, you've got to plug it in, otherwise it doesn't switch on. It just prevents it from accidentally switching on in transit. The keyboard, I think, um, on the inside, they've not changed it. So 1.8 millimeter travel, thankfully. Same as the T14 and uh, T490. This is really great. I think um, if you remember the X1 Nano keyboard and the X1 Carbon 9, personally I'm not um, totally convinced by those just yet. Uh, for me, the ThinkPad um, T-Series is always more the workhorse series. So it's I think what they've probably done is um, generally just um, decided to reuse the design, stretch it out for a little bit longer. Um, I think that's perfectly sensible in this case. I think generally speaking, Lenovo refreshes the machine once every three years or so. Um, this one, it's um, the chassis keyboard inside. Uh, most of the design is the same as the T14. So um, what that means is it's a more familiar machine. Um, it's more predictable. Uh, it's the same webcam, so it's um, meh, um, okay functional webcam. Um, could be better. Hope to see more autofocused webcam in the future. Let's just take a look. So we've got the 300 nits screen, it's a non-touch. At the moment, I think the screen, some of the options is just not really available just yet. So we grabbed the first one that was available. So on the T14, um, there will be the i5, i7 available. Generally, it's categorized between the vPro and non-vPro versions. I think personally, even the lowest and i5 seems okay. Um, you'll see on screen, that according to our graphics, um, it's um, the i5 versions generally have the 80 Intel XE graphics execution units. Um, we can't see that here, but um, um, usually you have the 80 on the i5 and you've got 96 on the i7. So I think if you don't do much gaming, I think the i5 is going to give you very decent performance every day. And because it doesn't have that more power hungry graphics, potentially I think sometimes you see really comparable scores. The M2 storage on this is the PCIe 4, um, X4. 
Um, so it's up from X3, but in reality, I don't think you'll notice any difference. It's just Lenovo has said the speed is downgraded to PCIe 3 um, X4, so it's not going to be any different before. So XC, um, better Intel CPU, that's really nice. I think for the first time since um, T480, you really have an architecture move away from Skylake, so that's really good. Um, arguably, you had six core Comet Lake processors in the T14, but those were really, really low in availability. So, in all honesty, yes, you do get back to full cores, but I think each of these cores are going to be more powerful, which is quite nice. Um, I think RAM-wise, as you can see, we've got um, one stick, so that means we've got 16 gig on board, so we've got one slot remaining that can be upgraded. The slider is still quite difficult to use, but it's really good it's there. Um, same bezel as before. Um, noticeable, but because it's serviceable, I think happy to take this over a non-serviceable um, display. Um, same armorized material, quite soft. Um, some. F I think you'll probably be quite used to this. Uh, the only comment is, I think, if you put your hand here, uh, generally if you type, I own this laptop myself, so it's sometimes if you put your hand here for an extended amount of time, it gets a little bit uncomfortable, but, but I mean, first thing I do is usually plug in an external keyboard. So let's try one hand opening, see if that works. Yeah, not, not really convincing. Um, you can literally feel the laptop lifting up, so I guess it's either in the center? No, not really. So two hands um, opening, probably sensible. Um, again, the lid bends all the way back, so it's the same chassis as the T14 largely speaking, um, some small enhancements. Keyboard feels quite responsive, really nice, and uh, personally I would grab a T-series like this over the Nano any day, but that's just me. Um, it's it's just more practical for me personally, It's and the click button, it just feels, you know, what you're used to. If there's anything in particular you want us to look at in a review, if we do manage to get the time, let us know. Looking forward to have a play.